Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm putting together a classic white bouquet and I had gone to Hobby Lobby and I gathered some white baby's breath. I have these awesome little doodads. They are pearls with rhinestones on a stick and I got some feathers and some stephanotis and some roses. So I just wanted to put together a hand-tied kind of roundy moundy style um, I like to prep all my flowers before putting together a bouquet. So this is just a quick how-to if you want to extend the length of either your floral picks or the stems themselves. Um, I just take kind of a medium gauge wire, make like a hairpin out of it, and just grab a hold of one of the stems. And then just wrap it really tight and then cover my mechanics with the wax floral tape. Um, it also uh, will hold the flower and the wire together and in place. So um, you can use a thicker gauge wire. Some of the, the stems I might have done a little bit thicker because uh, they were a little bit heavy. Um, and also I found at Hobby Lobby, if you go in the his and her section, they actually really have a lot of cool stuff. Um, they have some wax floral tape that's glitter. So there's like a gold glitter, a silver. I think they had an iridescent. I was so tempted to grab it, but I was like, no, I'm just going to stick to my list this time of stuff that I want to get. So, but I think by next trip, I'm definitely going to grab some of that um, special wax floral tape. That would look really cool with pin-on corsages or even the boutonnieres would be really cool. Um, so I just start off with the baby's breath and then I'm going to set my roses on top, one in the middle for a round. Uh, I'm setting them above the baby's breath because the roses are a little bit prettier than the baby's breath um, and should kind of be the, the focal area. I don't want them to get lost in the um, the texture of the baby's breath there. And then I'm just working the, the blossoms of Stephanotis around. Stephanotis is a, is a real flower, has a beautiful scent to it, but if you have allergies and cannot have perfumey um, flowers or real aromatic stuff around you, it's kind of a nice... Um, nice to know that you can use these artificial stuff and otis blossoms and they look very similar to the real thing i my biggest struggle with this bouquet was trying to figure out the foliage on it because the stuff and otis comes with um a darker green foliage which originally i was going to use but i really like kind of the softness of like the feathers there and the rhinestones so i want something not quite so uh black and white so dark green and bright white so I used some lamb's ear there, uh, which I had. I just pulled off um, individual leaves and then wired them the same way that I did the, the doodad of uh, pearl and rhinestones. So I'm going to make a collar out of the uh, lamb's ear. I did work the feathers around the base of the bouquet, and you can put them in more towards the center as well. But I knew I was going to use these rhinestones more towards the center. And since they're really cool and they've got that nice movement um, and it's got the, the little bit of glitter, I'm going to put them up front right in the middle there surrounding my uh, center rows. And I'm going to let them stick up and above that uh, so you can get that movement and the, uh, the sparkle. So once I have everything all figured out, I'm going to tie it off with a with a chenille stem, um, which I'm doing these shameless plugs for Hobby Lobby, but right now they have their holiday stuff out. And so you run into a lot of like chenille stems and stuff like that. So it's a good time to go shopping for, uh, for tools, but there you go. Classic white bouquet, um, with some feathers and some doodads. Thank you for watching.